Now, Mr. Gelman, when I, I'm going to ask you some questions about your background, about how you come to be able to draw these conclusions. I want you to understand I'm not accusing you of bias, okay? You've worked in the political arena, have you not? Yes, I have. And in fact, you, what was your job with uh, then Senator Dayton? My job with Senator Dayton was to be his state director, um, to basically oversee the operations of his state office in the state of Minnesota, which primarily focused on constituent services. Okay. Uh, so you're aware and have been aware for some time of how campaigns are run and, and what goes on behind the scenes, are you not? I believe that's correct. The term cherry pick. Why don't you tell the court how old you were when you, when you figured out what that meant in a political context? How long ago did you figure that out? I, I can't say for certain, but it was probably back in the 1980s. And everybody in this political war understands what that means, correct? I can't speak for everyone. Most anybody that's going to keep their job understands it, correct? Objection, Your Honor. This is for asking the witness. Sustained. All right. So what you will do from time to time for your own reasons is you will look at, for instance, the Coleman campaign submits so many number, uh, so many uh, voters from a geographical area that they want counted or don't want counted. And you look at that with your experience to try to evaluate whether or not it's been cherry-picked, correct? In the Secretary of State's office, that would not be our responsibility, you know, no. But you do it. I mean, just naturally you do it because you've got that education behind you, correct? Um, again, I don't think I did that for this, that, that purpose when I looked through the list. Um, I, what I was doing as, when I was looking through the list is looking at individual names and look going back to the county's uh, information as to why they felt that those were properly rejected. When the Franken campaign in a prior exhibit said, it's okay with us, go ahead and look at all 1,392 ballots. You remember that? Uh, 1346, but that's correct. You may remember, remember better than I do. Is there any doubt in your mind that their experts had gone to work on those numbers and projected that those would favor Franken? Objections. Well beyond the scope of the previous question. This is his expertise on this term cherry picking, Your Honor, and it, I want to show it's part of the whole process and everybody does it. Mr. Freeberg, you'll have that opportunity when you examine the witness. You do believe in your own mind that you can look at these things from time to time and determine when they've been cherry-picked, correct? I believe you could look at some documents and determine possibly whether they've been cherry-picked, but it would vary from document to document. Uh, you know, some would be very, very blatantly clear and others would be, you Subtle. wouldn't be able to tell. Okay. All right, let's go back to the question that I asked you. Did you look at the list of 650 to determine if it had been cherry-picked? No, I did not. Thank you.